Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for Grade Three. We are learning Unit Twelve. Its title is Eidul Adha. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I'm going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear students, today under the title of grammar, once again we are going to learn about model verb. So previously, as I told you, I have taught you about request and commands in your grade two, and in these sentences we have learned the use of can and cannot. I hope you remember to show ability or inability. We use can and cannot. So today we are going to learn further. to demonstrate the use of verb can cannot to show ability or inability this is our today's essay let's start with the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah mentions in quran surah ar-rahman was afadi fi o company of jinn and men if you have the power to go beyond the realm of the heavens and the earth pass beyond them you cannot pass out but with our authority yes my dear children you see the style of this verse allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is challenging men and jinn all of you who don't have power to go beyond the limits there are certain limits so better this cannot is showing our inability yes if allah wills we can do many things but what allah does not allow us allah has not given power to us we cannot do that and that is in inability what we can do that is our ability which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and what we cannot do is inability what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not given us and this verse is showing what the inability means which for which we are not you know composed of we we cannot do that but better for better things we cannot say i cannot do that i cannot so we should find out what we can and what we cannot so to, in today's lecture we are going to learn it so first you tell me what is mean verb and how do you show your ability or inability i have taught you how you can show your ability or inability so pause the video answer these questions to your teacher and then come back yes my dear students i hope you have answered your teacher correctly main verb the main verb is the important verb in the sentence the one that typically shows the action or state of being of the subject so what does it mean main verb is basically the action which the subject does it means as i told you yesterday there can be more than one verb in a sentence but there cannot be any sentence without a verb okay so verb is essential part of a sentence and there can be more than one so main verb if there are more than one verb what is main verb the typically one which is showing the action okay so to show your ability if you want to express about your ability what do we use we use can i can bake i can bake well this is to show my ability and to inability something which i cannot do i am not able to do we use cannot for example i cannot stitch cloth but i want to learn it better there is if there is something natural like for example i cannot fly because i'm not made for that but it's a technique of uh, stitching cloth that i can learn but right now because i can i have not learned it it is i'm not able to do it that's why i will say i cannot do it okay do you understand all right now look at this a boy can read a book as you can read a book a boy and a girl can read a book but an elephant cannot read a book right and the way the elephant speak 
we cannot speak like that. This is what ability and inability is. All right. She can drive. If she can drive, this can is showing her ability. But cannot, she cannot drive. It's showing inability. I can go tomorrow. I cannot go tomorrow. Right? So, to show ability, we use can. To show inability, we use cannot. Do you understand the use of both? And both are also known as model work, as we learned about may and may not yesterday. Likewise, can and cannot, both are model work to show ability and inability. Right? Okay. Use of can. This is what your book is saying. Can is used in sentences to show the ability to do something. For example, I can work hard. Wow. This is everyone. Every one of us can work hard. Okay. This is our ability. Shaheed can work on a computer. Yes. Okay. Shaheed has learned it. Everyone cannot. So, if one who cannot work on computer has not learned it. So, can means he is able to. Shaheed has learned how to use computer. Is his ability. He can work on computer. Okay, use of can in negative sentence means cannot. How do we use it in negative sentences? Can is used with not, cannot, or can't. Can't is also its for. It shows the inability to do something. If you want to say I cannot do it, I'm not able to. So what you will use cannot. I cannot walk very fast. Or it's, it doesn't mean I'm lazy. Right now, I cannot because I'm not wearing proper shoes. Okay, this is how you show your inability. I cannot walk very really fast because my shoes are not counted. A blind man can't work on a computer. Uh, this is what a sentence is. Maybe, but if he learns, he can work as well. So, beta cannot is to show the inability in the current state right now i cannot right so cannot is a model verb to show inability okay and if we want to ask about someone's active ability we use this can at the start of the sentence can you climb a tree means have you learned it or have you used skill to climb a tree or can you work on a computer yes i can Right? Okay. So, this is how we use can and cannot, can to show ability and cannot to show inability. So, let's practice it through an activity. Teacher will divide class in two groups and teacher will call one student from group one to write a sentence on board to show his or her ability. Now, teacher will ask student from group two who has the same inability. Okay, for example, if student one writes, I can sketch well, right? And now teacher will ask from group two, who, uh, who has this inability? The other child will come and write, I cannot sketch well. And teacher here, I want to give you a clue. This is how we can make student peer learning. Maybe you can make them buddy and they can learn skills from each other. This is the activity through which we will find the uh, you know, hidden talents of our children and if we want other children to learn from them, we can make them buddy. They can learn sketching, drawing, even English writing, speaking. They can learn from each other. So, this uh, activity is going to help us to find the ability and inability and to work on that as well. So, pause the video, enjoy the activity and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. All of you are smart. But if right now I cannot sketch well, it doesn't mean I'm not smart. I can learn it, all right? Okay, so let's practice this concept from your book. All of you open your book on page number 100. First, you will complete your question 6 
and then question 7 because I have taught you both concepts. So pause the video, complete question 6, 7 and 8 in your book and then come back quickly. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. It's time for your homework. You will use can and may. Yesterday I taught you use of may. So you will use can and may as model verb and you will write sentences in your notebook. Here is a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers. This worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. So, my dear children, what we have learned today, we learned to demonstrate the use of verb can, model verb can, and cannot to show ability and inability. Are we done with it? Yes. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing, take really good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah.